to today's virtual STEM session. My name is Rohan, and today we will be learning about convection currents in the mantle. These convection currents are responsible for many processes we see on Earth, including earthquakes, seafloor spreading, and the formation of mountain ranges and volcanoes. First, let's start off by learning a little bit about the mantle, the crust, and convection currents. The Earth is composed up of four different layers, the inner core, the outer core, the mantle, and the crust. The crust is the uppermost part of the earth and it is what we live on. Below the crust is the mantle. The mantle itself is split up into different layers. The uppermost part of the mantle is solid and it combines with the crust to form the lithosphere. The lithosphere is the upper part of the earth and it is split up into different pieces. These different pieces are called plates and as you can see in this diagram, plates are what are under all the continents and all the oceans. The layer below the lithosphere is the asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is composed up of rocks that are almost like silly putty. They're solid, but they can move. Because of this property of the asthenosphere, convection currents can be formed. The, the convection currents are responsible for the movement of the plates, which is known as plate tectonics. Core is really hot. This causes the heat to shift to the asthenosphere. This causes convection currents to form. These convection currents are shown by these circular cells. Convection currents work from one key property. Heat moves from areas of higher temperature to areas of lower temperature. This happens because you're adding energy in the form of heat to the mantle. When you add energy, the particles become very excited and they spread out. When they move around, they get less dense, so they rise because they are lighter than the cooler mantle above them. And when they rise, something needs to take their place. This is why the cooler mantle falls. This causes a circular movement in the mantle that repeats. It repeats because as the cool mantle that got moved closer to the core heats up and needs to rise. At the same time, the heated mantle cools down and replaces it. This creates a cycle that we call a convection cell. These convection cells are so strong that they move the plates on the surface of the Earth. Now that you've learned a little bit about convection currents, let's demonstrate one. I'll be using a, two cups of cold water, a cup of hot water, and a tub of water to demonstrate a convection current along with two bottles of dye, where the red dye would demonstrate the hot and the blue dye would demonstrate the cold. So let me set it up. So the hot water is placed in the center and the two cold waters are placed on the outside. They're placed under so the hot water will cause this water to rise and the cool water will cool down the other sides. As you can see, the hot water, which is red, rises and it expands outwards. At the same time, the blue water comes and takes its place. This creates a convection cell. Hopefully that was a helpful demonstration of a convection current. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.